What we want to show is a little example about how exhaust gases travel through a cylinder. And what happens is it actually creates a vacuum as it's drawn through. And you can see how it literally pulled, not pushed, the Kleenex through with the air motor. Now, using the same theory, we're going to be drawing this through here. You see how it travels through with the air stream? And of course now, because it's intersecting here, it's creating a low pressure here, which draws this air with opposing pulses. Okay, now I want to show a little example of the air movement going through a U-bend. There's actually two pressures here, low on the inside, high on the outside. Once again, it will scavenge. See how quickly it moved the air through there. Now, to demonstrate how the high pressure and the low pressure is, if you watch the yarn, it's on the bottom, excuse me, it's on the bottom here now, which you'd expect it to lay there. When you blow, it stays on the bottom. However, it's doing that because of the low pressure. When we reverse this angle, now you see as we're blowing in here, the low pressure will actually draw the string up. Doesn't matter where we blow it. This is demonstrating how we have a low pressure here, which actually draws the air around this corner. Now that's part of the concept that we're using with our X pipe. Same thing. We've got a power source coming here. We have the low pressure that actually draws the air around and brings it out. Can I do it again? Do it again. That's mm -hmm. fast. That is fast. Okay. And that shows how the air comes through here and draws it here. Remembering that, of course, we're doing a lot less volume than what's actually going through the automotive system, but you can see how the scavenging effect here literally draws and moves the air out easier by itself just using the energy expelled from this exhaust gas.